But let's start straight away this video with the old town Vehoda of Naxos. What you see here on my side is the Apollo Temple. That's dating back to 2500 years ago. Such an iconic place to visit, must visit if you are in Naxos. But let's go down to the old town and I'll show you a little bit around. I was able to find this little corner which is still quiet because otherwise this place can be a little bit noisy and at night there are bars, restaurants, you know, clubs as well. So if you want to stay here, just be cautious to find the right accommodation. And in fact, in the video description, I suggested a few hotels where you will have a quiet night. What do you expect from the Hora? Plenty of character, beautiful architecture and design too. It's a really an area where you can enjoy the old style of the Cycladic Islands, you know, the typical old town of an island. Price-wise, it doesn't come cheap, but it's not as expensive as well. It's a good compromise if it's the first time into Naxos. If you want to stay next to the beach, check out the next place. What you see behind me is St. George Beach or Agios Georgios Beach. This is the most popular place to stay in Naxos. Why? Beautiful sandy beach, shallow water, super clean, it's well repaired by the wind. It's a very long beach, partially organized and partially free, the far end. Uh, you can do also uh, windsurfing, kite surfing, all the kinds of sports in the far end part of it. Uh, so it's a beautiful place, plenty of restaurants, of course, uh, a ton of accommodation options. Uh, so what's the catch? Well, the catch is that probably price for money is not the best, but you pay for the location, of course. You're only five minutes from the old town. What do you want more? You can chill out during the day and you can do a little bit of a party in the old town during the night. And now let's have a look around at the beach and inside the little lanes. If you're more on a holiday budget, I suggest you to walk out from the hall about 5 to 10 minutes and you are in Newtown. Surely it's not so characteristic as the hall, but what you get is better price accommodation. And you're only 10 minutes, just a short walk from the old town, you're 10 minutes from the main beach. So it's a good location, it's quiet. Let's have a walk around here so you can have a view of the area. Here you am in Agiopocopius. Now, I would have suggested this place to families with kids only until a few years ago. But now, honestly, this is the trendiest place you can be in Naxos. 
and there are so many beach bars, cool music, DJ sets, fantastic spot to enjoy as a couple, singles, you know, perfect for the young crowd. And at night, there are bars, there are cool restaurants, really plenty of options. As many options as for accommodations, because you can find studios, hotels, everything you want. And what about for the families? Well, next day I'm gonna suggest it's perfect for families. In fact, that's where I'm staying in this trip with my 80 years old kid. What you see behind me is Agios Anna, which is next to Agios Procopius. It's a smaller bay compared to Agios Procopius, but absolutely as beautiful, you know, shallow water, fantastic water, beautiful sandy beach, partially organized, partially free. So you have all of the options. It's perfect if you travel with kids because really it's so quiet and you can leave your kid playing around. There are many kids actually around so they can play between each other, which is great. Um, accommodation wise plenty of studios uh, plenty of uh, accommodation types around that uh, and also a few restaurants that work so well for families there's also a bar a beach bar here if you want some uh, action uh, but besides that there's not much going on but I want to show you another place which is more secluded it's south from here and tomorrow I'm gonna take my mobile with me uh, jogging there and I'll show you a beautiful spot and you'll be surprised again but how much Naxos actually offers. I am on another morning of jogging here in Naxos. It's nine o'clock, it's almost empty around. And I uh, wanted to show you a little bit of a southern beach from uh, Hagia Hanna. You see, beautiful sand, turquoise water. The bay is magnificent. You see, you go through these uh, little dunes that uh, separate the resort here, which is far on the back, from actually the beach. So it's a beautiful setup. You know, if you want to stay in a place which is a little bit secluded, you want to have your own time, that's probably the best area to stay in Naxos. Now, there are another two areas I would love to suggest here in Naxos for your stay, but you can read about that in my post I'm gonna put a link down in the video description where you can find a full guide about Naxos and the best areas to stay. Keep watching this video because I'm adding also more footage on different parts of Naxos so you can have an idea of this fabulous island. <music> 